Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy Zilla Jackson back with another video. And, you know, today we're reacting to a Patrick CC video. And it's about the horrible crimes of soccer's biggest psychopath. Huh. That sounds interesting to me. I know there's other creators that reacted to it, but. I'm going to react to it. I did not watch all that. I just changed the scene and just made it all the way over here. All right. Just one year before superstar goalkeeper Hope Solo was inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame, she was caught by police officers passed out drunk in the driver's seat of a vehicle with her two-year-old children in the back. People were kind of concerned saying you guys were out here sleeping and want to make sure you Bro, that was her? That was her? Bro, I remember watching this. I remember watching this on my free time, like, a couple of weeks ago, like, two weeks ago. I had free time, so I started watching, I started watching cop videos. Because, you know, your boy inspires to be a cop sometime. If not, well... Right now, it's the number one choice, but things turn out the way they, the way they've been. I don't know, but like, bro, that's her. What the fuck is that on my ceiling? It's like my ADHD just kicked in, and it's that's a bug on my ceiling. But if it crawls closer over here while I'm recording, I'm finna falcon punch that shit. You were okay. Okay, what's going on? Why are you sleeping out here in the parking lot? Um, because I took a nap. After refusing to comply with the officers and even threatening to falsely accuse one of inappropriately touching her, they got a warrant to draw her blood. Her blood alcohol level was 0.24, which is over three times the legal limit. Now, alcoholism is a serious illness, and this seems like someone who clearly needs help. But Hope Solo has had countless slip-ups throughout her career that start to form- How can you fuck up so bad and your name is Hope? I don't understand that. Like, how can you be so fucked up and your name is Heaven? Like, I don't understand that either. Your name is Heaven. You're supposed to be Paradise. How are you going to be the embodiment of the devil? Like, what the fuck? Form a pattern of behavior rather than isolated incidents. Whether Question. Because I'm a little bit slow. What is... What, what is... The opposite of hope. Depression? Is that the opposite of hope? Depression? I don't... I... I uh, whatever. She was violently assaulting people, making obscene comments about other athletes and nations, or being caught under the influence of illegal substances, she is somehow always seen Ethanol. as the victim. This has led people to calling her a narcissist, sociopath, and that if she were a man, her reputation would be dragged through the mud. Today we are going to deep dive into the chaotic world of Hope Solo, the most controversial woman in sports history. Solo's history of violence started in high school. In her senior year in 1998, Hope had a restraining more. order filed against her by another student. While at a fairground in Richland, Washington, Hope attacked the victim. Oh, I was about to say that motherfucker is crawling towards me right now. That motherfucker's on a mission, bro. I don't know what to. But he's about to get Falcon punched. Like a motherfucker. Hey, I'm finna do a whole Ryu smash on this motherfucker. I'm finna use my up B. My down, down, left, right, left, right. You just finna think I'm using cheat codes. 
her by another student. While at a fairground in Richland, Hope had a restraining order filed against her by another student. While at a fairground in Richland, Washington, Hope attacked the victim, punching her three times in the face. The victim spoke about the incident years later and said, she punched me in the cheek. Then she said, I effing hate you, you fat ass and punched me two more times, once in the eye and once in the mouth. The student immediately contacted the police and ultimately a judge awarded the victim a restraining order, requiring Hope to stay at least 300 feet from the student for a year. However, Solo romanticizes the incident in her book like she was the main character in an early 2000s high school movie. My first serious boyfriend was a guy I'll call Tom. He was my first love, although I Got motherfuckers on the move again. Now at this point, bro, since it's a liability, I might just falcon punch the shit of it right fucking now. Yeah. Yeah, you got to go. You fucking distracted me while I'm recording the video, brother. It's not even close to me, though. So I have to walk around the desk and then... Like, hit it. Gotta move the light, too. Oh, yeah, my fist hurt. But I at least hit that bitch. I bet, yeah. <clears throat> My bad, uh, my, my ADHD, my ADHD wasn't letting me just let that happen. Yeah, my ADHD was not letting that happen, bro. I lost my hands right after. But yeah, we're back. We're back. I wasn't ready to sleep with him. I didn't hang out with the popular girls. I was too busy playing sports to play their social games. The popular girls saw me as a threat, and dating a guy like Tom made them hate me even more. After I got back from one trip, I heard that Tom had cheated on me with a cheerleader, one of the popular girls. She goes on to detail her run-in with the girl at the county fair. Hey, I said stepping in front of her, you're a effing but Tom's pretty good, she said. You should give him a try. I punched her in the face. Solo then recalls herself fleeing the scene, shaking furiously angry. The fallout was huge. Her parents wanted to press charges. They wanted to know why I had punched their little darling. While we can agree this is typical high school drama that went too far, it's interesting how Hope romantic. It sounds like an episode of Degrassi. And honestly, that bro, Drake, his life is looking like Degrassi right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, he, he looks like he's cooked. Fantasizes this in her book, which she wrote when she was 30 years old, like she was the innocent target of the popular cheerleader, when in reality she was the one who started the violent attack. And we would not be bringing up this high school incident if it didn't foreshadow her future behavior as an adult. But before I continue to dive deeper into Hope Solo's controversial career, have you heard that the flavored air category is quick it can leave isn't like tea with utilized party device fit mint flavor and you can off a journey patrick cc it is important to understand why hope solo got to her position as a hall of famer because she is widely regarded as the best women's goalkeeper of all time after an amazing high school career she hey hold on hold on hold on hold on if y'all love soccer bro if y'all love u.s soccer i just want y'all to keep an eye out for a young college athlete her name is Jordan Shinette, and she is my little cousin. And I'm telling you, if she had a better squad, she, I'm telling you she's good, bro. I'm telling you she's good. I just, 
to, she's just graduating, so she graduates this year, so next year she'll be a freshman, so she said that she wants it. Yeah, I would like to see if she truly wants it, because now she actually has the resources to get to the point, get to that point where she can, she can, how do I say it, level up her game. So yeah, keep a lookout on her. Yeah. Um. She accepted a collegiate scholarship to the University of Washington during her time at Washington. If y'all want to truly keep up with her, I'll link her Instagram in the description. But if it gets too much, I will. Nah, don't just don't tell her that I sent you. All right. Don't, don't tell her I sent you. Washington, she would switch to the goalkeeper position. Solo instantly realized this was the position she was born to play, racking up a school record 325 saves and 18 clean sheets during her stint at UW. She even got to represent the United States national team in college, but didn't see much playing time. In 2003, Hope made her professional debut with the Philadelphia Charge, but shortly after that moved over to Sweden to play for the Swedish club Gothenburg. While in Europe, Hope was selected as an alternate for the US Olympic team in 2004, which is still a great honor. And during the 2005 season, Hope became the starting goalie, a role she would fill for the next 11 years. The USA women's national soccer team has been a dominant force since the 90s. Whether it's the World Cup or the Olympic Games, they are always considered to be potential finalists. During Hope's run as the starting goalkeeper, the team saw a great success. In 2007, the USA placed third in the FIFA World Cup. In 2008, at the Olympic Games, they placed first, taking home the gold medal. In 2011, they played second in the World Cup, then took home another gold medal in the 2012 Olympic Yeah, that's kind of scary, bro. <laughs> that's kind of scary. Hey, 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 I don't want to ruffle any feathers, right? I don't want to ruffle any feathers. But can I get a USA in the comments? Can I, can I get a USA? Can I, can I get a America? Nah, it's kind of like one of the ones, it's kind of the, the one international sport that we're actually good at. And it's not even our men's team. Our men's team is absolutely abysmal. The only, the only good thing that we produce in America are swimmers and track runners. And apparently women's, women's soccer too. <laughs> apparently women's soccer too, bro. Why? I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. I wish I had an answer. But I'm just an innocent bystander. <laughs> games. And in 2015, they defeated Japan 5-2 and became World Cup champions. Hope Solo has 202 games as the USA goalie. Out of those 202 games, the USA only lost 11 of those games with her in the goal, and 102 of those games were shutouts. Some argue that she is the greatest American goalie of all time. Yet despite her numerous accolades, her constant controversies and antics has put an irrefutable stain on her reputation. Hope Solo quickly became Bro, I don't want to hear it because, like, our the U.S. rugby team, bro, had so many opportunities to show themselves in the Olympics, but they absolutely just shit the bucket every single time. And I can't say the same thing for the U.S. basketball team. Because that's international rules, and we just follow our own rules for some reason. So you can't say international level that we're just godly amongst other people. We may have the better star talent, like individual star talent, we may have that. But they have team chemistry with ease. How are we going to step up and outdo that? every year or like they did every other event was a gold silver or bronze they were on the podium almost every event they played in 
That's wild. Became known as someone who was not afraid to speak their mind, and her teammates did not like it. In the 2007 World Cup semi final game against Brazil, she was benched by head coach Greg Ryan in favor of Brianna Scurry. She details the night he made the decision. Solo says that Greg had a gut feeling that Brianna would be the better goalkeeper for the game. Hope confidently argued for her spot. Greg didn't seem to like my tone. I wasn't crying. I wasn't folding. I wasn't making it easy. Instead, I was fighting back with words and logic. So he tried to provoke me. Just just as he had on field all summer. I had nothing left to say so I stood up to leave. Greg leaned over and pushed me back down on the couch. You effing leave when I say you can leave. Greg vehemently denies he ever put hands on Hope Solo. Hope even claims that wow. she held herself back from throwing punches at her coach. But ultimately, she had to listen to his decision. She sat on the sideline angry and pouting during the whole game as they took a brutal 4 to nothing loss. After the game, Solo ignored the I mean, I don't like to lose either, bro. Hey, I'm gonna let y'all some insight, bro. I'm gonna let y'all in on, on some insight, right? You guys there are my dedicated fans, or not fans, you guys there are my dedicated supporters and people that watches me every single time that I post a video. The last the last year hasn't been the greatest. Uh one of those things why it wasn't that the greatest is cause I found out that my mom had leukemia. And um after after that whole process, recently we went up to Palo Alto, California, Stanford. It'd be easier to say. We went up to Stanford so we can do some blood platelet transfers or stem cell transfers. And I was lucky enough where I was her donor. But that's enough of that process. I have a whole nother video coming out pretty soon. It should be out probably Sunday. Because that's her Mother's Day and her birthday gift this year. <laughs> it's going to be a nice video. I got a nice video set up for her. Um, but it's that whole thing. I came back down to Fresno. And I wanted to play in a rugby game. And I was begging to be let in that game. I was begging. I don't like to be on the sideline either. But honestly, the coach and your teammates that absolutely have your back, they they know. They know. They know that you shouldn't be on the field. So I think it was like some deeper rooted bullshit that she was on. Maybe she was injured or something. I don't know. Who fucking knows? Who fucking knows? The reporters as she walked back to the bus until the team's press officer, Aaron Heifetz, and We lost that game miserably, but that's besides the point. We lost that game miserably, and then we went to the bar and still got drunk. <laughs> answered a question for her, which is his job. Agitated by a man speaking for her, she approached the press and said, Starting Scurry was the wrong decision, and I think anybody that knows anything about the game knows that. There's no doubt in my mind I would have made those saves. And the fact of the matter is, it's not 2004 anymore. Solo recalls the statement she made to the press officer, Don't ever tell me what interviews I can do. Her comments to the press were a clear insult to her teammate, and the statement sent shockwaves throughout the soccer world. They were appalled that she would throw her teammate under the bus like that. Although Hope claims she was not speaking ill of Brianna and was trying to criticize the coach's decision. Because of her comments, Greg I, Ryan dismissed Solo f I don't think... I don't think you're telling the full truth right there, ma'am. You, you're definitely, uh... Definitely dissing her. You're, you're definitely dissing her. No doubt about it. 
from the team. She wasn't allowed on the bench for the third place game, did not participate in the medal ceremony, and flew home from China on her own. Shortly after, Solo released a public apology. I would like to especially apologize to Greg Ryan and Brianna Scurry. There is no excuse for insulting a coach or a teammate. My focus now is solely on reconciliation with the team. However, Solo strongly suggests in her memoir that this apology was not written by her, but rather to satisfy the press, which seems to be a common theme. So she just chat GBT that shit. That's what majority of so like I don't know why my ADHD just kicks in. I I I think it's just because it's ten o'clock. I think that's what it is. It's because it's ten o'clock. And usually about this time I'm winding down. But I wanna I want to make this video, edit, and post it for tomorrow. You know, the schedule release, you know, but I'm, I'm just so fascinated at the veins on my arm for some reason. Like, I just got randomly fascinated with the veins on my arm and I was just rubbing on my veins to feel it. I was just rubbing my veins, but, uh. It's too many celebrities and content creators that literally just chat GBT's apologies and shit. If you actually mean that shit, if you actually mean it, show us through your actions, not your words. We're tired of it. Like, legit, we're tired of it. Like, let's say, uh, Let's say, uh, honestly, right now, if Drake doesn't come out with fucking proof that he's, that he's not a, you know what, and he just comes out with an apology, bro, it's like, that's so predictable, or that's, that's something that we knew that you were going to come out and do. It's like more of a PR thing, bro. That whole going away and taking a vacation, that's a PR thing, bro. And this is a PR thing, too. It's just that this one was a little bit less, how do I say, incriminating? A little less incriminating as that one was throughout the rest of her controversies. But the public took Hope's side. After all, she was objectively the better goalkeeper. Ryan made the biggest blunder in the history of women's soccer. Scurry is not as good as Solo, so why should Hope Solo have to apologize for telling the truth? A lot of people feel like Hope's punishment was unjustified. It's tough to tell if her teammates were clicking up on her because they felt insulted and jealous that the public took her side, or if Hope spun the narrative to make her seem like a victim when she was rightfully reprimanded. Either way, there was an animosity. But then when they won the gold medal in the 2008 Summer Olympics one year later, this essentially proved to herself and the world that she could speak her mind and back it up. If people wanted to view me as a villain, I didn't care. I actually liked the edginess it brought to my game, the knowledge that they viewed me as a threat. Twitter was also a place where Solo liked to express her unfiltered thoughts about the world of soccer. After a 2010 loss- Bro, fuck Twitter or X, whatever you fucking call it. Bro. All there is is P stars and OnlyFans models on there. As soon as you open the app, it's just straight up. Un unexplainable words. It's either you're getting, you know, the usual Twitter shit, OnlyFans, P stars, and all that effing, or you're getting fights. And brutal murders. I've actually gotten less brutal, brutal murders and fights, and gotten more P, P stars and OnlyFans models trying to promote their latest videos. And I'm just trying to post like, "Hey, looking for a team. Hey, trying to play Apex. Hey, what's up with Furia?" Hey, I don't, I don't know what else. Like, I don't go on Twitter 
for a long period of time. Um, but why is that still bad, bro? To the Boston Breakers, she skipped autograph signing for the fans because she said that the Breakers fan section were shouting racial slurs and crude remarks at the players. The Breakers organization denied these allegations, but at the same time, Boston has a long-standing reputation for racist fans shouting at sports events. A few weeks later, after the 1-0 loss to the Washington Freedom, she blatantly accused the refs of rigging the game so that Washington would win. It's official, the refs are straight bad. It's clear the league wanted DC in the playoffs. Solo tweeted, she was fined $2,500 by the WPS for her reckless statement. Soccer fans thought she was annoying and constantly trying to be the center of attention. I have a bad rap, you know, I, I, people look at me as selfish, outspoken, but I know who I am and I know that my struggles in my life have allowed me to withhold judgment and, and I'm proud of that. I think I finally understood that I'm a groundbreaking female athlete. And yes. with that, it, it's, there's a lot of struggle with that. But I know that I'm doing wonderful things for the sport of soccer, and I know I'm doing amazing things for female athletes. So I can take it. You're a feisty, smart, beautiful lady who happens to be a fantastic goalkeeper. You're almost a perfect woman. Oh, I love you. So her 2011 cover of ESPN's Body Issue, where she posted nude, just added more fuel to the fire. Body Issue is a yearly feature where pro athletes pose nude. During her cover story, she exposed what really goes on inside the Olympic Village. Hope said after the US women's soccer team won the gold in 2008, she had a night of partying with her teammates, including an all-night bender with actor Vince Vaughn. When we were done partying, we got out of our nice dresses, got back into our stadium coats, at which point she says they went on live television still drunk. She even said she snuck an unnamed celebrity back to her room in the Olympic Village, which was a major violation of the rules. Now it might not seem crazy that successful young people like to go out and party like the rest of us, but apparently these athletes like to party like Diddy. I've seen people having spread out in the open, on the grass, between buildings. People are getting down and dirty. What the f- Okay, hold on, let's read this. Hope Solo, the gold medal winning women's soccer player, has blown the lid on the rumored. On a rumored raging parties and sexual exploits of the world's most respected athletes during the Olympics. Miss Solo detailed her and her competitors' adventures off the field and in the Olympic Village, saying their entire women's soccer team was completely wasted when they appeared on today on the Today Show in 2008 after winning the gold medal. I've seen people having sex right out right out in the open on the grass between the buildings people are getting down and dirty she said she explains in the latest espn magazine she also said that the right that right after the game she sneaked a celebrity into her room refusing to identify identify the lucky fellow she did she did admit that she and her teammates had partied it up, blah, blah, blah. Vince Van Go? Oh, wow. Her accusations are backed up by the unfathomable number of condoms the Olympics passes out each time it takes place. For example, about 450,000 condoms were distributed during the Rio de Janeiro Olympics, three times. You know, there was one point in my life where I was like, I want to go to the Olympics, not just go. I want to be a competitor in the Olympics. I want to be the first multi-sport competitor inside the Olympics. I want to go there for rugby and wherever the fuck else. Now it's kickboxing, but like that's a whole different that's a whole different story. 
This, on the other hand, it's... I don't know. I don't know. It depends on what's my morals and values as I go into it. If I go into the Olympics, will I end up being one of these hoodlums out here fucking everybody I see? Every every soul I see, every woman I see, am I going to be one of those hoodlums? Or am I going to be one of the good ones that stay inside the dorms? I don't know. We shall see more than for the London games. They put enough Diddy and Drizzy numbers at the freak offs. <laughs> However, it was in 2012 when Hope's life began to spiral a little bit. Her soon-to-be husband, Jeremy Stevens, who is the former tight end of the Seattle Seahawks, was arrested for a domestic altercation against Hope. Cops say Solo and Stevens were involved in an altercation around 3.45 a.m. on Monday. After arguing about where they will live after they get married, cops found Solo with a small amount of blood on her elbow, which apparently was enough evidence to arrest the husband. She said online the next day, I'm happy, I'm happily married. We never stand for domestic violence. I've never been hit in my life. It's unfortunate. And that's what the media can do. Ultimately, the charges were dropped, which makes you wonder where the misinformation came from. That does seem like a major thing to get wrong. Then again, domestic cases are extremely complicated. However, Hope would face the yeah. biggest controversy of her whole career just before the World Cup qualifier games in 2014, where one of her drunken nights turned into a brutally violent assault against her sister and 17-year-old nephew. On June 20th, 2014, Teresa, Hope Solo's half-sister, received a phone call from Hope telling her she was upset because she had been fighting with her husband. Now, Hope and Teresa had been estranged for many years. They were not close by any means. When Teresa and her son got home around 10 p.m., they arrived to Hope parked in their driveway alone in the car. When they approached Hope's car, they noticed she was drinking out of a wine bottle. Her sister said she was swigging out of a bottle of wine that was in her cup holder. She was drunk. The family moved inside of- Bro, wine tastes gross. I don't know why people drink it like that, bro. Bro, so does all alcohol. But like, I, I can stand beer, especially if it's brewed the way I like it. I can't drink a Modelo. I, I tried. I can't drink a Modelo straight. I can't drink a Corona straight. I have to drink a, like I have to go to a pub. I have to go to a pub where they actually brew it correctly. Like I need the foam and everything. I need the whole experience. The mug, the boot, all that. I need the whole experience from a pub to actually like drinking beer. Otherwise I'm gonna stick to my tequila and vodka, bro. But, Put the vodka in some juice and I'm good, brother of the sister's house because Solo was not fit to drive. While inside, Hope and Teresa had some more wine and talked about her fight with Jeremy. Hope's 17-year-old nephew told the police that he endured a lot of verbal abuse from his aunt that night, but the situation got worse around 1 a.m. when Hope and her nephew argued. The teenager, who has been acting in local theater for years, told Solo at one point that being a good actor required having an athletic mindset. Solo responded that he was too fat, unathletic, and crazy to ever be an athlete. The teenager then told Solo she needed to get her cunt face out of the house, and then walked away. Teresa also suggested Solo should leave because she insulted her son. But instead of leaving, Hope followed her nephew into the home's garage to confront him. The teenager then yelled for his mother Teresa, prompting Solo to call him a p and a mama's boy. Her nephew then replied with, you'll never know what it's like to be a mother because even if you did have children, they would have the most unhappy childhoods because you have no compassion. Hey yo, he goes through that one, fuck. <laughs> he kinda cooked with that one, bro. I ain't gonna lie, he kinda, he, he... No, that's one of those ones that it sinks to the bottom of the heart. Like, it's the soul. It's the soul, and it comes up. You're just, you're just stuck. You're just stuck. It's over. From there, he told police Solo lunged at him to take a swing, hitting him lightly in the face. Then after that, she charged at him and struck him multiple times. You know what's crazy? I, I was just sitting back. I was falling asleep slightly. I don't know if y'all seen that. 
I was falling asleep slightly. And then after I heard that, bro, I just instantly got energized and I woke up. <laughs> Teresa came into the room and said that her son briefly subdued Solo and she seemed to calm down. She told her son to let his aunt up off the ground. She's done. You can let go. She's done. But when he let Solo go, he told police she immediately grabbed his hair, pulled his head down, and started punching him in the face repeatedly. He said, she jumped on top of me and started bashing my head into the cement. She grabbed him by the head again and she kept slamming him into the cement over and over again. So Teresa, defending her son, tried to pull Hope off. I came from behind her and I pulled her over and, you know, to get her off my son. And then once she got off, she started punching me in the face over and over again. At this point, the son called the police. You know, it's kind of bad at that point. It is terrible at that point. Because not only is that a minor, but you were also the aggressor. So you're fucked. You stupid bitch. <laughs> you need the police or an ambulance? Uh, police. Okay, let me get us to the police department. The nephew then grabbed a wooden broomstick and hit Solo over the head with it to defend his mother. She just turned around and looked at him and started to walk towards him. Teresa said of Solo's reaction, That's all. No flinch, no nothing. Her eyes just got big and she turned. Nothing. They had suffered the wrath of a... It's like looking at Terminator. That's like, that's like hitting the Hulk and then him setting your, 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 his sights on you, bro. It's like hitting the Hulk with a missile and then he just tanks that shit and then just looks at you. And then just comes a thousand speed right for your head. That's terrifying. I'm trying to book it as fast as I can. I am not a abomination. Motherfucker, I am a human. Get me the fuck up out of there. I'm finna be... Nipsey, I'm gonna be like Wally West and get my ass out there, bro. Drunken Hope Solo and could not physically get her to stop assaulting them. Luckily, the police arrived to stop the violence. When the police began asking questions to piece together the story, Solo said her nephew struck her with a stick, then said he was a scary person and she was protecting herself. But when questioned why, she was unwilling to go into detail of exactly what happened. Solo was arrested and when she arrived at the Kirkland Jail, an officer in his statement wrote, she showed signs of being intoxicated. Her eyes were bloodshot, speech was slurred, lack of good coordination, and the smell of intoxicants coming from her breath were present. As Hope was exiting the vehicle, she told the officer that her necklace was worth more than what he made in a year. As another officer was fingerprinting Solo, she made numerous statements that I was not worth anything, and she should be proud to have such authority. After fingerprinting, she was booked and she was being told to walk to the search area. Solo pulled away from an officer, leading her to be taken to a holding cell. Officers took Solo to the ground to gain her compliance. It was at this point that Solo told one of the officers that if she weren't in handcuffs, I'd kick your ass. And you'll notice that her behavior towards the police officers is extremely similar to her DWI incident eight years later. It's important to know that all of the photos and all of the details regarding this incident that you now know were not initially released to the public. So nobody knew how violent this assault was. In the days following the assault, she released an apology to the world. I love my family dearly. We, like all families, have our challenges, but my sincere hope is that we are able to resolve this situation as a Why do we keep letting them get away with this shit? Why do we let them keep getting away with this shit, bro? Bro, she sucks ass. She sucks ass as a human. All together, she sucks ass, bro. She, she sucks ass, Cody. Like, legit. She sucks. Buns. Booty cheeks. It, it's difference between fighting family 
and fighting family. Fighting family in the way she did it, that's, uh, you're out of there, man. Like, your family should just go ahead and disown you for starting that shit. Fighting your family and then making up right after, there's a difference. Because I, I have a cousin. I have a cousin that's like a brother to me. He's literally my older brother. I look up to him and I ask him for, like, relationship shit. Like, but there's times where we fight against each other. Arguments. A lot of them over Madden. I ain't gonna lie to you. Arguments. We got into a couple fist fights. But we always made up after that. But you got into a fight like that. That's crazy. Because your half-sister... And your nephew. They family. Fans showered her with love and support. Thousands and thousands of comments proclaiming her innocence. Solo was not dropped from her Nike sponsor, nor was she suspended from professional soccer, even though countless so male athletes were have. dropped after similar allegations. Many people believe the media was extremely soft on her, but others say they were just waiting to see how the trial panned out to take any action. Hope was initially charged with two counts of fourth degree domestic violent assault, to which she pleaded not guilty on all charges. Eventually, the court dismissed the case after the judge claimed the victims were uncooperative. But the victims disagreed. They claimed they cooperated as much as possible. But because the charges were dropped to the public, Hope was innocent. Yet, less than a week after her charges were dropped, Hope found herself in another major alcohol-induced controversy. Hope Solo's husband was driving a U.S. soccer van when he was arrested for DUI at 1.30 a.m. on a Monday. Police said Solo was in the car at the time, but she was not arrested nor detained. Because of this incident, she was suspended from U.S. soccer for 30 days. Hope was interviewed on ABC News to discuss both of these major mistakes. This is her addressing the domestic assault. So I'm not, I'm not going to go into all of the details. I was a victim of domestic violence at the hands of a, my 17-year-old nephew who... God damn it, we're not gonna let her just flick that around on her nephew like she wasn't the aggressor. She still be locked up right now. Not, he was a minor. He's a minor. And she was the, the aggressor. It doesn't matter if he's a male or a female. He basically did that to protect himself, brother. Or sister. Or whoever's behind the screen looking at this, bro. I, I'm going to be fucking honest, bro. Like, you, you're you're cooked. Fuck you. Fuck you with a passion. Bitch, I don't even know you like that. But I don't fucking like you no more. At first, I was like, alright, maybe we can give you a chance. Maybe your crimes weren't even that bad. But now, it's like, fuck you to the very end. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And that's from the bottom of my heart to the depths of my soul. Fuck you, bitch. He's six foot nine, 280 pounds. Um, I was struck over the head and concussed pretty severely. It was a very scary night. Then she addressed the DUI. What in the world were you thinking? Well, clearly I wasn't thinking. It was a horrible choice. I think I just wasn't in a good place emotionally to, to even make good decisions. I mean, it's not an excuse, but I just, it was stupid. We should have called a taxi. I could only imagine hope that you must be on a roller coaster of emotions. That I'm, just have I'm to... working through those emotions. You know, I was filled with anger, and I'm finally able to sit down, talk to somebody about what I've been going through and the very traumatic events over the last year. And just being able to speak to somebody has been really beneficial for me. And of course, she hit everyone with the classic. I want people to realize I'm just human. I'm just human and I make mistakes and I want people to be able to forgive me if they're willing to do so. And after that, it was almost like it all never happened. Her fans forgave her, understood she's just human and were ready for her to get back out on the field. But the Washington State Court actually reversed the previous court decision 
decision to drop the charges and reopen the case against Solo. All of those graphic details and photos of her violent outburst were finally released to the public, but by then, the media had already moved on, and they didn't care to talk about it anymore. Hope and her legal team delayed the case for three years by appealing countless times. Basically, they delayed- How? 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 Cause not even YMW Melly had that privilege, bro. their trial and played the system until 2018 when the victims eventually just gave bro she basically could have gotten away with murder bro like if she were to kill somebody at that time period she would have gotten away with murder guys i'm just human and i shot him out of self-defense and i do want to apologize and i want to send my hopes and prayers out to the family but uh, I just want to let you guys know that I'm just human. I just want to let you guys know that I'm just human. And then opens, they open the case again. And then they delay the case for three years? Three years! Bro, I'm I'm flabbergasted, perplexed, kerfuffled, all the big words that means I'm surprised because that bitch needs to be locked the fuck up. And I'm not seeing a good ending for myself right now. Gave up and wanted to move on with their lives. Hope Solo officially beat another scandal. To make things better for her, the USA women's national team won the 2015 FIFA World Cup, which was a legendary feat. She was on top of the world, but the damage had been done, and real soccer fans and her teammates could see through the mask. And in 2016, at the Rio Olympic Games, she got herself in enough trouble that would formally end her career. During the Rio Olympic Games, Hope tweeted these two images of what looked like a doomsday supply of mosquito repellent, as well as her wearing a bug protective suit. She used the hashtag ZikaProof. These tweets seem like jokes, but the repellent was her way of trying to protect herself from the Zika virus, which is spread by mosquitoes. And if you remember my Ryan Lochte video, then you know how Brazilians were not playing around with anyone who was claiming their country is not safe. The Zika virus wasn't a huge deal in the United States, but the state of Rio de Janeiro had recorded 26,000 suspected Zika cases. The virus has flu-like symptoms that most healthy people will be able to get through. It has been proven to cause a severe birth defect that results in babies born with abnormally small heads and underdeveloped brains. When addressing her tweets, Hope said, So basically, you got the wrong part of the world, bitch. It's Africa that's having the issue, you stupid fuck. Said that her and her husband were trying for a baby and she was worried it could possibly affect them. I would never take the risk of having an unhealthy child. I don't know when that day will come for Jeremy and me, but I personally reserve the right to have a healthy baby. Nobody knows if this was true or if she was just trying to do damage control after her joke tweets failed to make people laugh. Whenever Hope was on the field during the games, people in the stands would regularly shout Zika whenever she touched the ball. <laughs> and also were not afraid to boo her. Many of Hope's fans felt that people were overreacting, and protecting herself from mosquitoes is totally normal and understandable. Yet eight years later, people still comment on her Instagram, Zika, to make fun of her. Likely agitated by the boos from the Brazilian crowds, Hope expressed her frustration to the media again. This time, her comments would land her a suspension, and then send her into retirement. After the women's USA team lost to the Swedish national team in a penalty shootout, Hope said, I'm very proud of this team, but I also think we played a bunch of cowards. The best team did not win today. I don't think they're going to make it far in the tournament. I think it was very cowardly, but they won. Hope's comp- Well, that's the most American shit I've ever heard. 
No, that was very American. I ain't gonna lie to you. Where does American get our pride from, bro? Yeah, where where does American get our our pride from? Because America is basically culture vultures, bro. We we take everything and we bring it into ourselves. Our economy, Great Britain. Our way of thinking, Great Britain. Our army, Great No, I'm not going to say Great Britain because their army wasn't all that bad. But we got the army from Germany. What else? What 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 fucking else? How how do we get our pride? Is that just developed? Did that just develop? Cause I think I think I think Americans have the worst pride out of all all the all the countries. I think we have the worst pride, bro. Comments reinforced to people that she was a sore loser. Calling another team cowards for out strategizing your team in a sports competition is just silly. Plus, Sweden went on to play in the championship final, proving that they were pretty damn good. That's the tough. media exploded with criticism for Hope. Ironically, this was her largest publicized controversy, with every major news article covering her rude comments and resurfacing her past domestic violence and DWI controversies. The pressure was at an all time high, and US soccer had had to do something. In a statement, U.S. soccer president Sunil sure. Bladi said that the comments were unacceptable and do not meet the standard of conduct we require from our national team players, Keep before her slapping her with a six-month suspension. The U.S. soccer president said that this suspension six does months. take into account her previous actions. However, it seems like U.S. soccer only suspended her because of the major media backlash. Bro, Ocho Cinco had the had a worse case than that. And he got, no, not a worse case. He had a lighter case than that, and he got suspended for a whole year indefinitely. The fuck is this? Is, is it just because she's a girl? Or is it because she's, like, talented? Because if that's the case, then Ocho Cinco. What about all the other American football players that, that had that issue? Uh, and they had worse senses than that. And not because they actually felt she was wrong. And of course, Hope didn't think she did anything wrong either. Terminated contracts. Not just a suspension. How can they do both? It's both. 17 f***ing years and it's over! She also wrote a formal statement saying that she was disappointed with the Federation's actions, but she did not apologize. Even her longtime teammate, Abby Wambach, was surprised it took this long for her to get suspended. But if we go back 10 years, if she's 10 years younger and she makes this comment, is she suspended by USA Soccer? Well, or fired? I don't know, because I think that the suspension was a, a Lifetime Achievement Award, right? The, <laughs> It, well, it was. I mean, in terms of her longevity on the team and how many mistakes and stuff that she made, um, you know, and I'm not judging her because, listen, I've, I've made mistakes also. But it, for her, I think it was a compilation of all these things happening. So 10 years ago, I don't think she's made all those mistakes. Right. And so I think that that in the end is why U.S. Soccer decided to suspend well, And during her suspension, Hope decided to do some press about the situation and further claimed that her comments were taken out of context. If anybody actually listened to the interview, mm -hmm. And I'm not sure if you have, but it was a very, I wasn't enraged. I wasn't emotional. I wasn't angry. I just had this conversation with. Bitch, you are PR trained. So no emotions are coming through. You are PR trained. There's no emotions coming through you. I wear my emotions on the sleeve. So you're going to see me. The way I am 24 fucking 7. It doesn't fucking matter unless it's unless it's dire and I need to suppress my feelings. I'm going to express my feelings one way or fucking another. I am now at the point where I could fly off like a missile and just strike like a rocket. No matter if you're my best friend. My brother, unless you are older than me and in my family and you have that higher status in my family, 
where everybody respects you. I'm I'm not filtering what I say. I'm not. I'm not. With all of the journalists in the room after the game, and we were talking about the style of play. We weren't talking about. You know, I didn't mean to come across that the, the players were cowards or the coach was a coward. I meant the style of play was not, it wasn't very Olympic spirited. She actually insinuated that the U.S. Soccer Federation suspended her for a different reason. There are more layers to it that I don't think everybody quite understands. Um, I believe the Federation used my comment saying the word coward to terminate me. Um, it was about more than that. Well, uh, now real quick. Do you think that Hope is going to tell them about her multiple controversies that involve alcohol, maybe her domestic violence case, or years of disrespectful tweets and off-color statements about the soccer industry? Of course not. Um, it was about more than, than, well, uh, than, than okay. that comment. I, well, well, I've been fighting for, I'm sure you guys have all heard that I've been fighting for equal pay. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been the lead voice behind the it's push for equal shit. pay. Um, in fact, in all the court documents, it says, it was stupid as shit because they were making more than the U.S. men's team overall. Basically, instead, they wanted to be salary paid, but then they were getting paid more than what the U.S. men's team was getting paid. So I don't understand that whatsoever. That's Hope Solo versus... United States Soccer okay. Federation. Hope heavily insinuates that she was terminated not because of her own words and actions, but rather her involvement in trying to get female soccer players equal pay as the male players. Not only do we bring in more money for the Federation than the men's team, yeah. but it's federal law. It's the Equal Pay Act. You have the same employer doing the same job, putting in the same amount of time. Granted, we're more successful at it than our men's team. <laughs> Now, the gender pay gap is a deeply discussed issue across all industries that includes so many detailed nuances and laws to consider that trying to explain just the U.S. soccer pay situation requires an entire video of its own. But generally speaking, yes, women's soccer players did get paid less while generating about the same amount of money in the years 2016, 2017, and 2018. And yes, Hope Solo led the charge speaking up for women's soccer and trying to get them equal pay. But now that she embarrassed her team with her comments and got suspended, Suspended, she was all alone. She filed a complaint in 2016 with the. Okay. Maybe I was wrong. I do apologize. Maybe I was wrong about the whole women's pay equalized soccer and all that. I do apologize about that. U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission that alleged wage discrimination by the Soccer Federation. Unfortunately, you are the person that are, that is getting this knife you know through you but at the same time it's going to open up so much and you are that martin luther king of <laughs> women's soccer <laughs> Martin Luther King of soccer is crazy, but now Hope's life mission was entirely different. She retired from the game and was now fully dedicated to her activism. In 2018, she sued the U.S. Soccer Federation, accusing the governing body of neglecting youth soccer development for the sake of self-serving financial gain. So, soccer in America right now is a rich white kid's sport. And then we have to ask ourselves, well, no wonder why we are not qualifying for the World Cup when we have alienated a huge population of really talented youth soccer players. Then a few days later, she even tried to run for president of the company she was suing. But what's interesting is that in 2019, 28 women's national team players sued the U.S. Soccer Federation without consulting Hope Solo first. Hope had been discussing this issue for years now, and they came together to sue the USSF for the same exact reasons that Hope did. So it makes you question why didn't they come to her? Her or include her. And in light of this new lawsuit filed by the 28 players, the USSF has sought dismissal of Solo's lawsuit. Hope tried to get the government to consolidate their lawsuits together so they could just settle one case and she could be included with the team without her. Basically, the whole government is full of your shit to the point where they said, we're not going to take your shit anymore. And then your teammates saw that and said, okay, they're not taking her shit, so we don't have to deal with her shit. We're going to branch off in our own way and 
that's how we're going to get approved. Okay, that makes more sense. Her present solo warned the players might back down and surrender, but the US women's national team did not want Hope Solo involved. This is extremely telling what her previous colleagues think of her. Perhaps all those years of dealing with her controversies, they figured it would be impossible to get her to remain calm and calculated while facing this litigation. They probably figured she would mess it up somehow. But in 2022, the US women's national team made a $24 million settlement with the USSF and agreed to formulate a new contract between the Federation and the players. This was a groundbreaking advancement into the future of the game, but Hope Solo disagreed. This settlement is not a huge win. It's heartbreaking and infuriating. A promise of equal pay from the Federation and back pay for a select group of players isn't equal pay, and it's not what this fight was about. Hope was defeated. She felt that everything she had worked so hard for was stolen from her and settled for pennies. She was now fighting her lawsuit alone, and one month after the 28 women settled, she was found passed out drunk in a Walmart parking lot with the engine running and her two-year-old twins in the back seat. As police approached the vehicle, they noticed the car was on and running. When they knocked, Hope- Yeah, it's, yeah, I seen this. This the body cam footage I was watching, bro. I didn't know that was her, bro. I mean, granted, I don't really dabble into the women's soccer pro scene as often as I should. I'm mostly on to the women's rugby team or women's fighting competitions or women's water polo or women's volleyball, things like that. I'm not really into the women's soccer right now, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I would dabble my feet into there pretty soon. <laughs> I'm fucking around. I'm not. Soccer is fun to watch and play. It, it's just, I mean, it, it depends if it's on. If it's on in front of my face, then I'll watch it. But yeah, I'm not gonna go out my way to stop watching a, a high intense rugby game, the All Blacks versus. I'm not gonna stop watching the All Blacks versus South Africa just to watch soccer. I, I'm I'm good. Unless it's Reynaldo or Messi playing against each other, then I, I don't care. ...was jolted awake from being passed out behind the wheel. As soon as the officer started talking to Solo, he noticed the smell Reynaldo, of alcohol on her like breath Reynaldo. and asked her multiple times, how much have you had to drink tonight? Every time she was asked, she denied drinking at all. The officers patiently tried to get her to present her ID for five minutes while she ignored mm -hmm. them, scrolled her phone, and even called her husband. As Solo sees the situation is escalating, she finally hands over her ID, but still refuses to comply with the officer. Step out of the car so I can, so I can make sure you are sober and able to be a competent adult in front of these kids. I am a competent adult. Okay, then step out of the car. Can you tell me why? Because you smell like alcohol That's why and you're I'm passed out driving. in the car with the car on. So step out of the vehicle. The I'm not asking you again. I would like to call my attorney. Step out. Car. Hope refused all roadside alcohol tests, so the officers got a warrant to draw her blood. Yep, that's definitely her. She got the same chest tap. Chest tap. I don't know why. Every single time I'm sleepy, my speech impediment just gets worse. I could... You know how bad I just want to knock myself out? Like, I just want to give my myself a two-piece biscuit for just spilling bullshit. Spewing bullshit right now. If you guys are still here after me just yap this whole time, I feel like it's been over an hour. I appreciate you. You don't have to leave a like or or comment or subscribe or anything like that, bro. Just 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 seeing you at this point, I'm happy with. Blood and arrested her on suspicion. No, that's that's with the bottom of my heart. I I am very much entertained by doing this i not only am i entertained but after being in a spot where things don't look good this is what's bringing me joy 
and now I'm committed into it. I'm a little bit tired, so uh, my energy is my energy and my my movements are a little bit off, but I do appreciate it of DUI, the test showed her alcohol level was 0.24, which is three times the legal limit, and she also tested positive for THC. As the officer guides her to her car by grabbing her bicep, she threatens to file a false claim. I don't need you to okay. touch me. All right, let's go. I can walk by okay. my Jeez, helmet. Oh my God, you don't touch me. All right, that's fine. All right, that's cool because I will have a complaint that you touch me inappropriately. Do not okay. touch me. Then she continued to berate the officers the entire time she was detained. Right, so you are loving this, aren't you? No, I love, hate it. No, you love it. You love every moment of this. But these, these officers are a bunch of everything you thought was a I'm so sorry you had nothing else to do tonight. So. I hope I was very entertaining for you because I know I was. Bruh. 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 Can we be completely fucking honest? You looking like me right now, but drunk. You stupid fuck. Are you really dumb, stupid, or dumb? And if I really have to go in, it's going to be a long ass rant. So I'm going to go ahead and continue playing this video before I actually get on your dumb ass. I know that I bless you with my presence. That's what I Hope was charged of driving while intoxicated and pled guilty. The 40-year-old was sentenced to 30 days in jail, a 24-month license it. suspension, as well as a $2,500 fine. But she received... So... She got a month in jail. What up? She got suspended. So she got suspended for a month. Then. What? Hold on, read, read one of driving while intoxicated and pled guilty. The 40 year old was sentenced to 30 days in jail, a 24 month license suspension. So she has a month in jail, 24 months of, well, Two years of not driving, basically. Two years of non driving. Uh two thousand and five hundred dollar in fees and fines plus a six hundred. That's light for what she's done. You might as well have put her in uh ain't that as deep. well as a twenty five hundred dollar fine, but she received it ain't that deep that she goes to prison. Received a 30-day jail credit for submitting herself to an inpatient rehab center. She acknowledged her mistake on Instagram and recognized that alcohol was a destructive part of her life. She said, I continue to be a student of the greatest school called life and I will continue to learn and grow from these experiences. I will continue to gain empathy, knowledge, and stories to share. I consider this a gift to pass it on to others because pain shared is pain lessened. People were angry that she did not apologize apologize, but rather use this as a way to again boost herself up some more. She even spoke about the situation on her podcast where she claims this incident came from postpartum depression. Speaking to my counselor while in treatment and after studying my own behavior and habits and struggles throughout the pandemic, I learned about the varying levels of postpartum depression. I also came to realize that I completely lost touch with myself and even with my marriage. I put so she's playing PPD? Are you serious? Myself last. Sure, I needed some help. But I also knew that I didn't need it to survive. It's hard to admit when we're wrong. And truthfully, no matter how much you apologize or how you apologize, you will still have angry people in your comments and people saying it's not good enough. But celebrities often go into deep psychological detail about their lives as soon as major controversies come up. They go on podcasts and talk about them being just human and not perfect, hoping to gain empathy from their supporters. And over the years, they seem less genuine and more like repetitive PR statements. Hope Solo was inducted into the soccer 
Soccer Hall of Fame after this DWI incident. And yes, she deserves to be considered a soccer legend because she is one. But I think it's pretty clear the media has been soft on her over the years. Why? I'm not sure. Is she a narcissist with dangerously erratic behavior who yes. is unable to admit when she's wrong? Or is she just a boisterous girl boss whose controversies are simply misunderstandings? Well, that is up for you to decide. Just one year before Superstar... Well, good shit, Patrick, for another great video. <laughs> yep. Good shit, Patrick, for another great video. Appreciate that, my man, my mom, my bro. All right, chat. Or I keep on saying chat like I'm on Twitch, like I'm watching this on Twitch. I'm recording this in my room, so. <laughs> All right, y'all. I catch y'all tomorrow with another video. I appreciate y'all for rocking with your boy. I hope that I'm not too annoying. If you may, go ahead and tell your partner about me. Tell your friends about me. Tell you. I don't give a fuck, to be honest. I'm I'm just trying to I'm I'm doing bullshit at this point. But yeah. Uh that's my sign to go to sleep because I just start sounding like I'm a stupid fuck. <laughs> But with that said, y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next one. It's been your boys. Peace. Stay safe.